Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Alhamdulillah. This is a blessed event and I'm honored to be asked to officiate this shahada. Um, it's, the honor is all mine because this is your journey and you're allowing us to take part in witnessing this next part of your journey in your public announcement of your shahada. And I mentioned that specifically that this is the public announcement of the shahada because the shahada is when, when we witness that Allah is one. The belief begins first when it enters our heart and then the next stage is on the tongue. And I know, even without knowing you or having spoken to you, I know before sitting here, you've made statements affirming that belief. And so the first time that statement was on your tongue, that's, that's your shahada with Allah. That's where you're, you're, you're witnessing, that's your testimony. And as one brother who was also a convert to Islam, he, he explained to me something about the shahada that I never thought about before, which was if you look at the statement of the shahada, it's a witnessing or a testimony. And if we think about a court and they call a witness, the only way a person can bear witness is if they actually know for sure and they've seen it. They've seen it for sure. And so what you've gone through, Sister Natasha, in your, in your path is that that belief has entered your heart and then came to a point where you looked at the world around you and you could see around the world that Allah is one. And you knew that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the chosen one. You could see it, and so now you you have that belief in your heart. And then, as soon as you expressed it on your tongue, that was your shahada. And this public shahada is so that we can all bear witness to your witnessing and be people who testify that we saw your belief and you saw our belief as well, because that's how we know each other as believers, and then we support each other. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he told us in many different hadith that, that the ummah, his nation, that you are a part of, that we are all a part of, we are like a building. And parts of the building support the other part. So this path of ours, the path of Islam, witnessing that Allah is one, that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last and final messenger, it's not a solitary journey. It's a solitary journey in that it's our own personal path, but then part of our journey is being connected, connected to the believers. We pray in congregation. We go to Hajj with uh, other people. We, we, we greet other people with the Salaam. Part of our faith is being connected to other people, and so that's how you're honoring us by allowing to witness your, your, your witnessing. So without further ado, we'll begin and just repeat after me. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa, Illa, Allah, Allah, Wa, Wa, Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Rasulullah, Allahu Akbar, and that's in English is I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God, that there is no God, but Allah, but Allah, and that Muhammad, and that Muhammad is his messenger. Is his messenger. Allahu Akbar. That's the that's the shahada, and my advice to you, dear sister, is that that you take this path of Islam. Uh, you're already taking it sincerely. I don't have to tell you that or advise you that. But what I can say from other people who have become Muslim and converted to Islam. And I've seen the, 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 the growth. I myself was born as a Muslim, but my mother was a convert to Islam. And I have many friends and community members who are converts to Islam. The fact that right now there's a brunch going on after this just for converts is a testament to the strength of this community in that there are so many converts. And sometimes we forget that the, the community around the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was a community of converts. They were all converts to Islam, and it was the first people who were born into the faith uh, that were actually recorded. They would say, so-and-so Sahabi was born. You know, they had to keep record of who was born into, into the, the faith because everybody else was a convert to Islam. And so that convert, the, the, the first community was a convert community. And my advice to you is that um, this path is, uh, is an easy path. And there's also difficulties, and there's a weightiness, and there's an ease at the same time. In the in the in the 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 weight that we carry, there's a, Allah gives us ease to be able to carry it. But we know that it's it, it's a weight. So if we're if we're on a hike with a with a uh, a backpack full of things, it's heavy, but we know we can do it as long as we pace ourselves. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that this journey 
is, he said, basically yourself, your nefs, is like, a, is like an animal, like a, a horse. And you have to make sure that as you ride your horse to get to the final destination, don't drive it into the ground. Pace yourself. Because if you, if you burn yourself out, if we burn ourselves out, he said, we won't get to the final destination. And that animal that we were riding, which is our souls, ourselves, is driven into the ground. In other words, it can no longer be, be used. So we want to pace ourselves. And this is, a, uh, this is a marathon and not a sprint. So mashallah, may Allah bless you. And please keep us in your dua and your prayers. Once a person accepts Islam, we believe and we were told by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you are like the day that your mother gave birth to you in that there's no sins on your soul. So this is a very, very special spiritual state that you are in right now and take advantage of the benefits of those spiritual state because for those of us who who have tarnished our own souls with with an accumulation of sins we don't have the same connection to the unseen and to Allah that a person who does not have that would have access to so so take advantage of that pace yourselves keep us in your in your dua and then everybody here and the entire ummah are your brothers and sisters and reach out as needed and uh, uh, please keep us in your dua Jazakallah khairan Assalamu alaikum.